Hey everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor, and today we've got the brand new 2021 Lexus IS. Now this is rocking the 350 trim, meaning it's got the V6 and it's also the F Sport. So it's a little sporty, got more performance looking bits, a little bit of go faster bits, but the powertrain is the same. Still rocking the six speed automatic standard transmission and that naturally aspirated 301 horsepower V6. So we've got this car early, thanks a bunch to Lexus for getting it out to us. And we're not able to talk about driving dynamics. However, we are gonna take a look around the car. We're gonna talk about the interior, exterior. We can take it for a drive. I just can't make any comments on my impressions on the driving experience. If you like what you see here, please hit that subscribe button. It helps us out a bunch here at Daily Motor. And check out our other videos on the IS. We've got a sound system review on its 17 speaker Mark Levinson audio system, sounds excellent and then also a real world highway fuel economy test showing what this car can realistically get cruising at 70 miles per hour on the highway. So let's get started here. Look at these beautiful looks. When I first saw the car in the driveway, I almost thought it was an LC 500. Sort of has that similar striking appearance, mixture of flowing drooping lines and also sharp angles, really giving it a beautiful look. I've got the LEDs on right now, the daytime running lamps, giving that sharp Lexus looking check mark. Beautiful dark alloy wheels. The only complaint I have about the appearance is the big old Lexus grill here. That big hunk of black plastic doesn't do the car any favors. Looks like that could have been styled a little bit better. But other than that, you look at these flowing lines back. You got sort of this big rear haunch with this character line that bulges out at the wheels. It looks good, aggressive, and sexy. Some black mirror caps with the F-Sport package. Nice chrome accents. Everything's fit together really nicely, even on this pre-production model. F-Sport trim gives you this black deck lid spoiler, some black accents back here. With these lights on, you can also see the full rear LED tail light. I think that looks really neat, almost Lincoln-esque. Looks good here on this Lexus though. Dual exhaust pipes, pop open the trunk. Pretty standard fare back here. I like that there's no automatic trunk it's just a manual deal i think on small sedans that's all you need i also appreciate that lexus still gives you a spare tire even if it is compact it's nice versus a lot of the other brands that are just giving you run flat tires that don't ride well or inflation kits nice to at least have an option there for the spare tire beautiful iridium paint here and then on the inside you see we're greeted with bright red circuit interior is what they call this nice premium feeling leather very very red even red on the door panels the glove box They're really taking it to the next level Alyssa mentioned this looks like a beats audio logo here kind of early to mid 2000s beats headphones rear seat room is pretty good for the size of the vehicle i am five foot ten and i've got enough knee room with the seat set in the five ten position Headroom is a little bit limited. My head does start to touch if I sit perfectly upright. Wouldn't want to be back here for more than a few hours, but I could stand a small road trip. No sort of power outlets, even in the center console that comes down here. Got some pop-out cup holders, but that's about it. Just a little bit of an armrest. Do have some vents, so that's better than nothing, but not really a car meant for backseat passengers. Good quality feel to everything. No surprise for a Lexus, but still nice to see. Big solid door thunks, good handle feel. Popping into the front, car's a little upset that I've got the lights on, so I'm gonna turn those back to auto. Fairly compact driver area. Definitely feel sequestered in here. And you've also got this big old hump from the all wheel drive system here on the 350. Kind of interferes with where your foot goes. You don't really dry, notice it if you put your foot forward first kind of to the brake pedal and then over to the gas. But as you can maybe see, both of my knees are touching on the sides, just a little bit cramped up here. If you were a taller driver, you really might have trouble getting comfortable up here in the IS. Center console, very Lexus reminiscent. No big revolutionary 
decisions here other than we fire up the system. This Lexus infotainment screen is now touch sensitive and oh my gosh, does that make a big difference. Previous Lexus systems, not only have they been hampered by the use of their either uh, little joysticks or the touch pad systems, but they also never looked all that great. The resolution was a bit low. Now it's got this nice, crisp, high definition system that is complemented by having a touch screen. So you can pinch and zoom. Look at that responsiveness. I can also just click to zoom. Really good resolution on the map. If I go to the main menu here, all these different options. If I wanna go into the setup, nice, good response times. Nice to be able to touch that, makes a huge difference. I, I noticed just instinctually within the first few hours of having the car, I needed to set some audio settings and I found myself just reaching up and touching things rather than screwing with this touchpad. However, I am glad that they still included the touchpad because when you're driving and you're comfortable with the vehicle, it is nice to be able to just sort of snap around using the pad and get to where you need to go. Not only that, but we do have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay support. I plug my phone in. You can see we've got a little Android Auto button. And press that and voila, we've got widescreen Android Auto. So you've got your map as well as your music and time and weather, signal, all that sort of info on the sides. Very nice to be able to touch all that and you can still use the touchpad for getting around Android Auto as well. Very nice to have. Other than that, no big surprises on the interior. All classic Lexus quality. You've got USB ports, only USB-A though, no USB type C's here in the 2021 IS. We'll take it out for a little drive. And as I said earlier, I can't comment on any impressions of the driving experience, but I can let you guys experience it with the high quality binaural mics and the POV camera. Get a little impression for yourself. Seats are comfortable. I've been in the seat now for about two hours, all in, after doing our highway fuel economy test. Only two-way lumbar adjustment, but again, the seats just feel pretty good. The only thing I would appreciate if I owned this car would be a seat bottom, a seat cushion thigh adjustment. Go a little deeper, be nice. One aspect I'm not a huge fan of is these touch sensitive temperature adjustments on the climate control. However, I will say that you can adjust things very quickly and go from 81 all the way down to 65 in one fell swoop, or I can tap on it. I just wish it didn't make that obnoxious beep every time. I do give Lexus credit though for keeping all the climate control buttons physical and in their own separate area rather than burying them into the infotainment system. You still can view climate settings in the infotainment right there. So if I wanted to adjust my code, but I don't have to. I feel that that is really underappreciated here in 2020. A few different drive modes in the IS. You've got Eco, Normal, Sport, Sport Plus, and Custom. You also have manual shifting both from the center and from these paddle shifters. Six gears, I can shift down. Back up, either spot. Heated and cooled seats as well as a heated steering wheel on this top trim IS. The IS does have Lexus's lane centering ability now, so if you set the cruise control, the car will drive itself more or less. So it's gotta see the lanes first. Right up here once these lane markers come in, should be good. Yep, 
There we are. You can see it's bringing itself right to the center. There we are. Sorry for my water bottle, guys. Got to stay hydrated in here. Try out that lane centering again. Stop paying attention, it just sort of releases and beeps at you. Another great feature in the 2021 IS is a 360 overhead camera. Not actually overhead, but superimposed with cameras around the vehicle. The only downside is you can't actually select the sides of the vehicle. So you can switch it so that it's sort of zoomed in on the curb. And you can go to the front, but you can't go to the side for some reason. So some cars, as you're coming up, you can get sort of a curb view, but you can at least do a wide angle, a normal angle rear. Definitely nice to have and helps show the usefulness of the touchscreen. Okay, 2021 IS350. Pop open the hood. Created with your standard Toyota Lexus V6, hidden under some plastic. What a beautiful hood that is. I think they did a great job with the styling, great job with the car overall. Looking forward to later on when we can talk about actual driving dynamics, but until then, I hope you guys were able to get a good impression for the new IS. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button, check out our other IS content, and we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on. Mm -hmm.